the Marvel film to end all Marvel films. <laughs> I really hope Fully they sarcastic, don't. sarcastic, by the way. Oh, yeah, I really hope they don't stop making Marvel films after this. This is Marvel Studios' Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is coming out September 3rd. Are you going to talk more or just hit the play button? Come on, let's do this. I've been excited. Good. Walked in my shadow. God damn. I trained you. So the most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. Son. It's time for you to take your place by my side. God, he's so beautiful. Oh, that aesthetic. Oh. You can't outrun who you really are. Who are you? I didn't like Aquafina the first time I saw her. Damn, she's growing on me. Like you, the first time you saw her in this girl trailer, my, or the first time you like, saw her. No, the first time I, the first time I saw her ever, I just thought she was like whiny, too like obnoxious. And then between Ocean's Eight and uh, Jumanji, and now this, it's just like get get at me, girl. This has got huge vibes. I've got massive Jackie Chan feels from it. You know, Stephen Chow feels. Oh, it's so beautiful. We've got some, you know. Stephen uh, Chow, I see, yeah. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon feels in this shit. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the aesthetic, I think I think it's so good that they wait until the very end to let us know it's a Marvel movie. Because otherwise you come in with expectations. Because it doesn't feel, it feels something out of place. It doesn't feel like a Marvel movie. And I love that. I like that the 10 rings have become 10 bracelets. Yeah, because, well, to get away right, from the, the gauntlet rings, you know, to get away from the hand jewelry from last, I, I was going to say last season of Mar of the MCU movies. <laughs> like, I'm, sto I'm stoked for this, like I was for Guardians of the Galaxy, just because it was taking us in a new direction, something new. I don't even know Shang-Chi very well. Like, I know the basics behind the character. And I, I know more about the Mandarin uh, because of Dr. Strange. Uh, I'm a big fan of Dr. Strange, but um, it's, yeah, I, I'm, I'm stoked for this movie. It looks so good. It looks like a Kung Fu movie that that's going to have that magic elements of, of the 10 rings. Um, oh, I, I'm excited for, for this movie as well. Um, just looking at the chat, Armazilla says, big excited for Aquafina, especially seeing her in Crazy Rich Agents uh, was huge. Samuel Liu uh, just tweeted at Kevin Feige and tweeted at Marvel and was like, yo, when are we going to talk? And then got the role. Like, Got to uh, shoot your shot. You got to shoot your shot. Like, goddamn, you know? I was that's, just saying in the chat. That's big dick energy right there. Yeah. Two of the things I like about this trailer is that they don't give a, a clear villain in this trailer, which like I'm sure they've talked about it, um, but they haven't shown it. And the other thing that I like about it is you didn't see any obvious cameos or references to any other Marvel property, which are probably going to happen in the movie, but we just didn't see it in the trailer. So it keeps and granted when they have a trailer two or a trailer three or a final trailer or whatever it is, there's probably going to be some sort of like, OK, now people are going to come and want to see the movie. But for this one, it gets you invested for the right reasons. The general plot is technically hinted at in this trailer. So not only is Shang-Chi, uh, he's, he's 
in this trailer, we see him living in America. Uh, the voiceover is his father, the Mandarin, who says, uh, I've given you 10 years to live your life to decide what you want to do. But now it's time for you to come back into the family fold. You know, it's like it's time for you to take up your mantle to be at my side and, and you know, and run this crime organization with me. Uh, and he's clearly he's like, no, I'm not going to do that for you. Fuck that shit. Uh, and has to fight his father. I'm going to throw it out there. I think that his sister is going to be uh, a villain and yeah. she's going to be pissed that his dad wants him back over her. I, I would I wouldn't throw it past uh, Marvel to make her the Mandarin. Uh, father dies in the movie. She becomes the new Mandarin, gets the Ten Rings. I know Armazilla brought up uh, his dad mask guy and blade arm dude. <laughs> Uh, but I meant like the main villain because what this seems like to me, think like Civil War where Crossbones was in the beginning and then very unceremoniously met his end. Um, I think they're showing like tertiary villains in the trailer and not showing who the actual villain is. Like we brought up Fin Fang Foom. If in the third act, all of a sudden there's a giant fucking dragon that comes out of the sky and it's like, okay, there's the big bad. I think Fin Fang Foom will be in the end scene credit, something hinting towards Fin. I don't think that it'll be... In this movie, I, I, that that's too much to throw as a giant villain uh, for this movie. But I also wanted to point out in this trailer, they go back in time to like ancient China. I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Ancient China, um, feudal China. <laughs> Thank you, Kara. <laughs> Uh, but you're right, Richie. I believe there's going to be flashbacks in the story where they talk about how Shang-Chi's father became this uh, warlord and, and leader of the Ten Rings because technically he's an immortal being because of the power of the Ten Rings. Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting how they how they like fold that into the universe. Also, the Ten Rings themselves, from what I understand, the Ten Rings themselves have powers nearly on par with the Infinity Stone. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's like one controls wind, fire. Like it's, yeah. it's a whole like each ring controls something like the Infinity Stones. All right, let's rate this trailer. This is the last trailer of the night. Let's let's talk about it, boys. Let's put our number on it. You know, one of you motherfuckers is taking a rings rating, so I'm not going to do it either. I promise not to take rings. I promise not to take rings. I give this movie 50 miles per hour of a speeding bus out of 50. <laughs> do you catch the reference? I know Richie did. I'm going to rate this trailer a 7 out of 7 punches that it would take me to put that hole in the tree because i'm a i'm a champion one inch puncher <laughs> tune into seven out of seven tune into the late in life you uh, uh twitch channel where uh richie is going to go outside next week find the nearest tree and punch it seven times and and prove that like and make yeah. that dent make that dent make that dent uh i'm gonna rate this trailer 25 it'll be the 25th film folks it'll be a milestone film it's just 25 That's 25 not 25 out of 25, anything 20, just 25 25 just 25 cool not cool. 25 out of 25 that was marvel studios shang chi and the legend of the ten rings that's coming out in september the third uh you'll catch it on disney plus hopefully in theaters as well I will definitely I try so. to see this in theaters. Fingers hopefully. crossed. Fingers crossed. Hello, film fans. Thanks for watching another episode of Trailer Talk. Let us know in the comments if you liked the trailer and if it made you want to see the movie. And subscribe to see more episodes of Trailer Talk like this or different stuff like this. Thanks. Peace and love.